fans. Well, thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog. If you're curious what I'm actually doing each day, I want to talk to all of you about something today. At some point, I will be getting a haircut and I'm going to be trimming my build as well. But the reason why I don't trim and cut my hair during the winter is because I like to kind of stay warm, should I say. But we got a couple unboxings for all of you today. We're going to be taking a look what's in this uh, box right here. And we're going to be taking a look at this envelope packaging as well. But I am still working on the brand new battery box, should I say. It's going to be a little bit different than my old battery box. Because I like the idea to have two battery boxes, one up here and one down stove. Because say if the power goes out and you don't have a way to charge your phone. And I know a lot of you are going to say, Chris, you just could have bought one. Yeah, I could, but they're a bit more expensive. I got to figure out how much it's going to cost me to build this new battery bank. Let's go ahead and take a look at these packages. Let's go. It's going to be awesome. Before I actually get into the unboxing of these items, should I say, here is my old battery bank I built in 2017. That's about four or five years ago. And this is actually a new battery bank I'm actually going to be building. This one's going to be a lot different than that one. But let's talk about this. I cannot seem to find this charger anywhere. I looked all over eBay. I looked on Amazon. I just cannot find this charger at all. But I have a bit of a different way to actually charge this box. Let's go ahead and open up the packaging. Let's get out the trusty knife. Should I say. Sometimes you have to cut these open with a knife. And how am I going to charge it? Well, I'm going to charge it with this type of charger. This is pretty cool. Interesting. Sit that off to the side. Move that out the way. And let's take a look at what's in this box. You know, it's all different ways to charge a battery. You know, it all pretends of what type of charger you're actually looking for. This is a known charger. It's the adapter for my uh, plug itself. And this is what it actually looks like. That's pretty cool. So I, I've got to actually run box this uh, basically but let's take a look at this uh, little unit here and this is going to charge this battery bank because I don't have that same type of charging port on that battery box itself but it also pretends of how you want everything to look it all pretends of how you design everything and like I said, that's basically what it looks like. It's a pretty small adapter. You can kind of see this will plug into my original charger. That's pretty nice. And this is how I'm going to charge the battery in the uh, unit itself. I think it's pretty cool of how everything seems to actually work. You can kind of see we have all these different connectors. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is brand new. Sometimes you gotta tear these off and open another thing to take a look at the components you are working with. And this is the plug. It's gonna go in here. This is how I'm going to charge it. And that's pretty cool. I may have to extend this wire. This is a 12 gauge wire. I don't know yet. I'll have to figure that out. 
But that's pretty uh, cool. Explain to all of you a little bit. Yes, it might be cheaper just to go buy one that's already pre-built. But here's the thing. We don't know what type of battery that unit has or what type of amp hours it has of how many different accessories you want to actually use. Like I said, I like customizing my own battery bank is because I can kind of figure out how I want to actually make it look. If something does uh, break eventually in these things, I can actually replace the components myself by buying new things and upgrading itself versus one that's already pre-made. But it also pretends of what you're going to use the item for or the battery bank for. All right. I built that one over there about four to five years ago, okay, because it has a sealed elastic battery. It's pretty heavy, uh, should I say. It's not a very lightweight uh, unit at all, and it's a pain to constantly take it down stove and up stove, and that's the reason why I'm actually making two different versions of my battery bank. And like I said, it always pretends of what you want to use the item for. I can't wait to actually build this one. It's going to look uh, very nice as well. But all right, if you guys and girls are supporting this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.